Hi, everyone. It's Lynn. Um, I should have posted this earlier, but I forgot I didn't have it done. But this is the next block, and it's month seven or the seventh block. I had it divided into months for our Quilt Lit 101. And this one is called Lord of the Flies. And I just want you to see the block. It's, it's a little bit different than what we've done. It's a little bit more complicated. The other ones, but we're building on the next step, right? So be sure and check this out because there is a little uniqueness to this one. So pay attention. Um, but I'm going to go to the next camera so you can see what it looks like. How fun is that? So this one, again, we're starting with that cross design that we've done several times. Um, but And this one's just kind of plain, but you notice we kind of have these little um, corners, which I kind of thought like looked like, you know, kind of, I don't know, an evil plant or something. I don't know, maybe Audrey too. So um, for those of you who get that. So what you're going to need to this one, let's just kind of break it down and look like it. You're going to need these big triangles in the corners of that clover green. And then you're gonna have these little spiky triangles. So really this is made in two areas. You kind of do this corner first and then you do the, the big triangle. So here's what you're gonna need to cut. You're gonna need, first of all, you're gonna need this clover color, which is fabric number four, and it's gonna be cut and you need two of those that are five inch squares and you're gonna cut it on the diagonal. And when you cut it on the diagonal, it'll look like that. You'll have two of those. Then for this um, crocus color, which is this purple, you will need four two and a half by four and a half inch pieces. You will need four two and a half inch squares and you will need four um, three and one quarter, three and one quarter, one fourth, inch square. It's, this is the square that's going to have a little stuff done to it. And then you'll also need in this cactus color, which I just love this cactus color, this cactus color, you're also going to have a three and one quarter inch square and you'll need four of those. I'm sorry, two of those. You'll just need two of those, two of those, two of those. All right. So with these two, you are going to cut them on both diagonals. So you will cut it catty corner to catty corner and the other catty corner to catty corner. Um, and that's what I always called it, but uh, it could be. So when you cut one of those up, you will see that it'll look like this. You will have these four squares, or triangles, sorry. They're triangles that you're making out of those squares. And you'll have a set of the purple ones, and you'll have a set of the green or cactus color ones. So it's crocus and cactus, okay? So you're gonna need those and you're gonna need this one cut. And then the last thing you need is a two and a half inch square that you just need one of and that's for the center, all right? Now remember, you can buy this pattern online so be sure and check out that link. Um, so the next thing you're gonna do is the very first thing that you're gonna do, and I think it's the beginning, is just sew the square, your center square to two of these, right? Um, one on each side and that will look like this right do to do okay so that's kind of our center cross if we look at our pattern really quick that's our center cross so you can see that is going to be the center so I'm going to set it aside because that's easy to get done now the next thing you want to do is we're going to make these corners so how we have to make these corners is we take the two and a half inch square that we have, and there's gonna be one of those for each of the corners, right? So that's our two and a half inch square, those will be in the corners. Now, we have to sew these two triangles together, and the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna sew four with the cactus on the right, and then you're gonna sew four with the cactus on the left. That's very important. There is a right and a left side to this block, and specifically these two pieces, because they need to face each other. The little triangles need to face each other on the either side of this square, okay? So when you sew them, half of them will be with a cactus on the right and half of them will be with a cactus on the left, all right? So I'm just going to set that aside and let you look at it so you can see it as reference. Right there it is. 
So when you sew those together, it will look like this. These are sewn. Okay, and they're right and left. Now here's the tricky part. This is the toughest thing in the whole block. It really is. Um, and it's not that hard of a block. It's just this is the little tricky part. But that's why we waited till this one to do it. Okay, this is going to be the other side. So I'm just going to walk you through this really quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the one where the cactus is on the left and you are going to line it up with the big wide part of the triangle to the side of the block. And the way I do it is I line up the top crocus color, which is the purple color, even with the top of my block, right? And I'm going to turn those right sides together and I'm going to stitch down this line. Okay, so that when I turn it back, that will be like that. Then I'm going to take where the cactus is on the right side, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to line it up to where the cactus, the big part of the triangle, is lined up to the block, and I'm going to make these even. Like this is what I'm looking at, even, even, right? So that when I flip this over, that the even this part of the triangle is lined up with the same side of that block and I'm going to stitch this way. Do to do, do. Then when I do that, when I'm done with that, then I'm going to take my big um, green triangle and I'm going to stitch it right sides together right here. And then that will turn out like this. And you can see that's how it's stitched together. See? Okay. So once you get all of those done, and you're going to repeat that four times, right? So you're going to have that here and here. And you're going to face the big green clover color. You're going to face those inward. And then you're going to stitch both those sides to a... Two and a half by four and a half. Remember, that was two and a half by four and a half. I'm going to bring in my center, right? And then the once I get that done, then the last thing I'll be is stitching those two. And then I'm going to do the bottom. And then I stitch this row to this row and this row to this row. And I'm done. And that's the Lord of the Flies block. So you can see it's not, it's not the easiest block we've done. We did those at the beginning. So we're getting a little bit more complicated here. Um, the thing about this one is lining it up, and the key is line it up where this edge of this fabric is even with the edge of that block, or that two and a half inch square. That's what you want even, and you're lining this edge up even so that when you stitch down this, that's a quarter of an inch. So your green is what hits up against the edge of the block, and it makes this it makes this look like it's set on an angle, and it's not. It's really set straight, but that's how you're sewing that together. So it's a little bit different than we've done before, and just make sure if the left and the right, if you don't have a left and a right, it won't work out, and you'll be unstitching the stitch back. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so anyway, so that's the Lord of the Flies box. Be sure and check out um, Cotton Art Studio and our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, the link to buy the patterns below and um, check on us next time. So have fun and we'll see you in two weeks for the next block.